Got 50 bucks to spend on some cool tech? Well, you came to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a new month. You know what that means. It's time for another episode of Cool Tech on Number 50. So every single month starting this Cool Tech video, I'll be giving away five of my new awesome tech source mouse pads to five random people in the comment section down below. If you guys want to enter, all you got to do is let me know in the comments which of these Cool Tech items was your favorite and why. Leaving a like is not required, but obviously it is greatly appreciated. And I'll pick five random people at the end of the week and announce it on my Twitter and Discord page. And yes, this is worldwide. Let's get started. If you could put me in your pocket and get my advice every time you buy stuff, would you do it? Well, here's something even better. Luster is a free product research assistant that automatically compares all the products and prices for you so you can always get the best product for your money. Let's say you're shopping around for a gaming mouse but you don't know which one to buy. Luster gives you all the information you need to make the best choice. You can even see why they chose the products they did by checking the reviews and ratings from trusted sources like Wirecutter, Reddit, and even other YouTubers. You can even keep an eye out for deals on great products. So if you guys don't want to waste your hard-earned money on crappy products ever again, make sure to download Luster by using my link down below. It's super easy, plus it helps out the channel. So let's kick off the episode with something I recently picked up for a new console of mine. And yes guys, I don't know if you're ready to hear this, but I recently picked up a PlayStation 5. Oh my lord, I am just, I'm just so happy right now. Like... So yeah, since I picked up a PS5, I had to pick up an accessory so I can make it look good in my setup. So I did some research online and I picked up the best vertical stand currently available for the PlayStation 5. So this is the Nexago vertical stand for the PlayStation 5. It is an all-in-one station that adds lots of utility to your console. For starters, it has two built-in fans underneath to help keep your PS5 nice and cool. Not that the PS5 overheats or anything, but it's still nice to add a bit of extra airflow if you're gaming for long hours every day, especially in the summer. However, you do have the option of turning them off from the back. On top of that, it can hold two controllers, one headset, and up to 17 games using the slots on the other side. The controller stand is also a fast charging station. It juices up both controllers at the same time via USB-C. So you're getting faster charge times compared to standard USB. You will need to plug the USB-C cable in the back of one of the USB ports from the PS5. However, they will offset that by providing you with an extra USB port from the device to compensate. I just wish they provided a much smaller cable because I'm left with a ton of cable slack in the back. I also love how they match the colors of the PS5 and the controller so it just blends in nicely together. The stand works great for the disc edition, which is what it was intended for originally, but if you're using a digital edition like I am, then you do have the option of installing this foam cutout so it keeps the console nice and snug, but personally, it throws off the colors quite a bit so I didn't end up using it. I just love how much functionality it adds to the PS5, and if you're someone that's going for a console setup for your PlayStation 5 and this is definitely something you should pick up. Next up we have the ASUS ROG Strix Arion Lite. It's an external portable M.2 SSD case. This is perfect for those who are constantly on the go or use laptops frequently. This allows you to store your M.2 SSD in a protective case allowing for easy transfer between devices. The case also provides cooling with the included thermal pads that helps pull heat away from the M.2 drives. Now it does state that you don't need any tools to use it, which isn't technically true because you will need to pop up the case using the eject tool that it comes with. And to install the M.2 SSD, you will need to remove the screw using the opposite side. So yeah, you do need a tool, it's just that they provide you with one. Of course, ASUS being ASUS, they gotta slap on some RGB for you. So you can use ASUS AutoSync to control the lights on the SSD cover, or you can sync the lights together with the rest of your ASUS components, granted you have any of course. In terms of speeds, you do get the fastest transfer speeds for your M.2 SSD, up to 10 gigabits per second via Gen 2 Type-C connection. However, actual speed speeds may vary depending on your device of course. Now it's really important that you guys set up your M.2 SSD so that it can be recognized with any PC that you plug it in. After installing the M.2 SSD in the external case, just plug it into any computer. Then you have to go into the Windows Start menu and search for 
create and format hard disk. Your PC will then detect the unallocated drive, which will have a black border up top. We just have to right click it and create a new symbol volume. After going through the quick and simple setup process, the drive will now be active and it will get recognized when you plug it in a PC. External M.2 SSDs are extremely popular for laptop users and people who are always on the go that want the fastest transfer speeds while being small and portable. If you guys want to step up your audio game, you gotta first start with your audio interface. But the problem is, most audio interfaces are pretty expensive. Well, not the M Audio M Track Solo. This is a USB audio interface for all of your audio devices. The first slot is for your XLR microphone. The second one is for any device that uses a stereo jack. So it could be musical instruments, recording equipment, or hi-fi equipment. And then you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the end. Now, if you guys are using a headphone with a quarter inch jack, then you will need to use an adapter to convert the plug. There are three knobs up top that give you easy control over the gain and volume of the devices that you plug into each respective slot, which is really convenient instead of having to adjust the volume through Windows. The audio interface also comes with a built-in phantom power, which provides power to your microphone, eliminating the need to purchase a separate bulky external power supply. Now to get this up and running, all you have to do is plug the USB cable in the back of your PC and download and install the drivers then you're good to go. Now for the sound test, I'm actually gonna compare the M-Track Solo to my $120 Rode AI-1 audio interface. All right, here is a quick test using my Rode Broadcaster microphone that is plugged into the Rode AI-1 audio interface. What you are hearing right now is the raw audio file without any editing. And now we are doing the same exact test using the same microphone, but I have plugged this into the M-Audio M track solo instead. Once again, no edits were made. What you are hearing is the raw audio file. So yeah, some pretty freaking impressive results with this little guy. If you guys are listening with headphones on, you can probably hear the difference, but for the price, I am blown away by the sound quality of this AI. You cannot find any other quality audio interface like this for less than 50 bucks. Up next are these really useful trays. They come in three different colors to help you color code and organize parts while you are working on your project, and they collapse, making it really convenient to store once you are done using them. The bottom base is magnetic, so it will help keep all the loose parts from moving around, and I just think it's an awesome thing to have in your toolbox. These will make excellent gifts for your dad, your friends, significant other, anyone who really does a lot of projects, I guess, with tools, and if their birthday or holiday is coming up, then you know what to get them. This next item is personally my favorite item from today's video because it is such a useful thing to have in your setup or workspace. This is the Above Tech mounting arm and it can hold more than just a tablet. It has two types of mounts that can hold different devices. The tablet holder is mostly for tablets, small displays or game consoles like the Switch and the camera holder is well, for cameras and anything that has a quarter inch thread. Let me just start off and say that the build quality on this arm is insane. It can hold up quite the weight. It doesn't have any problem holding up my Sony a6600 with a Sigma 1.4 lens. So the arm clamps to your desk like any boom arm does and offers you multiple adjustment points. You get two from the neck piece and one from the ball head, which gives you a full 360 degrees adjustment. You're basically guaranteed to get that perfect angle. This is great for cameras, of course, but it can also hold displays up to 11 inches. This is perfect for those who are looking to add a small display to their setup. Instead of buying a full size monitor, you can pick up a smaller display like a a tablet for instance and clamp that to the mount and you can use it for multitasking. A perfect example for this would be if you're streaming a game for instance. You can use a tablet to read and interact with the chat and because the tablet isn't connected to your PC it won't affect the performance of your system constantly alt tabbing or multitasking between both displays. So yeah those are just a few ways that you can use the above tech mounting arm. I strongly strongly recommend this for anyone looking to mount their camera, tablet or any type of small display to their setup or workspace. This thing is awesome. And that will do it for this month's cool tech video. As always, everything mentioned will be linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. And don't forget, I'll be giving away five of my new awesome tech source mouse pads to five random people in the comment section. So if you guys wanna grab one, all you gotta do is let me know in the comment section which of these cool tech items was your favorite and why. Leaving a like is not required, but you know, it does help the channel out a ton. So if you guys enjoyed the video, maybe consider helping out. Um, I'll announce the winner in a week on my Twitter and Discord account, so make sure you check back there. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.